Hello. So uh, some of you may have seen that uh, I did a tweet this morning to say that uh, I'd had a microbit uh, come into my uh, possession and uh, I was keen to, to get on and uh, play with the Bluetooth stuff that, that Martin uh, Woolley from the Bluetooth SIG has done. And he very uh, kindly replied with a, a link to some <coughs> excuse me, micro bit information that he has. And it's uh, a very good page with lots of good information on there. And it has some uh, pre-done hex files. So I took this uh, one here, the Bluetooth, uh, most services, no security. And I thought uh, just for these uh, initial experiments, that might be the easiest thing to play with. So. I downloaded that onto the micro bit and something seems to be happening. <coughs> Excuse me. And I thought for testing purposes, um, the button service, so being able to press a button and see that that's happened on the Raspberry Pi would be a good initial experiment. So the uh, there's a big long UUID number here. But what we'll do is we'll just try and look at these uh, four numbers here. So actually, can I make that bigger? Hopefully that's easier for you to, to see. Um, so that's 9882 is the button service. And we'll look at button B because we can. And it's DA91. Uh, so they're the two key numbers that uh, we need to to remember as we go off looking at these things. So without uh, no more of it to do, we shall go over onto the uh, to the Raspberry Pi and start the Bluetooth command line tool. And this is a uh, Raspberry Pi 3. Um, should be a fairly uh, straightforward uh, and standard setup. There's a couple of changes I've made. So I've changed the alias name and I do have a newer version of Bluesy, but I don't think anything I'm doing here will necessarily be that different from the uh, installed version, but I will uh, try and install a standard version and uh, just check that everything works. But I just wanted to do this quickly with what, what I had laying around. So the first thing to do is to do a scan to start finding things and we can see uh, that we have found this BBC micro bit. So I want to say connect and these commands have tab complete. So if you at any time uh, want to see what all the commands are, you can type help and you get a full list of them. But we're going to connect and that was E8. If I do tab complete, if that's unique enough, it'll, uh, it'll do it. So now I've connected to my micro bit and we've got a list of the uh, UUIDs of services that are available on it. And if we remember back to that very helpful documentation um, the button service, oh, I've gone past it, there it is. Uh, so it was uh, 9882 uh, was the useful uh, number in there. And we can see that that uh, is uh, there as well. And you can see here, so <coughs> these first three are standard services, but these are the custom ones for the micro bit. And they're all very similar numbers apart from, from these four digits. So uh, if I do a list uh, attributes of the micro bit, you can see that Bluesy uh, puts it in this directory looking um, name, uh, but that's not very helpful to us because at this stage we only know the UUID. So um, uh, there's a bit of uh, magic that you can 
uh, can do is you can find out all the things that Bluesy knows about and because we're connected to the micro bit it knows about the micro bit um, so let's just uh, run everything and you can see it'll it'll tell you everything that it, it knows uh, and that's far too much to wade through um, so we we knew that the UUID um, for the button B so, uh, characteristic uh, was DA91 so if we grep for that in there you can see that Bluesy uh, knows that it's put it on that uh, path looking name there so it calls it a node so if we go back here and say select attribute and put that path in uh, we are now uh, looking at that characteristic so I can do a read of that and it says that the button isn't pressed if I press the button and do a read again uh, oh we became disconnected at some point oh that that's uh, never never do video demos <laughs> Uh, so let's just connect it was e8 so let me connect back to to that and select our attribute again and do a read so we've got zero and if I try and not short it out this time do a read again it's O2, which just means I press the button for a long, a long press. Uh, but having to keep, and it, uh, I've now let go of the button, so it says zero again. But having to press the button, uh, type read every time, uh, isn't very helpful. What we can do is we can get it to notify us when a change has happened. So now we can see uh, that it started. So now when I press the button, it says zero one and then zero two because I've held it a long time and then I release it, it says zero, so press, release. So there you go, there you go, that's the uh, the basics and we'll just disconnect from there. And there you go, that was, that was the first look at trying to explore the micro bit